This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 371, for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. This is Brian. This is Lisa. So, did you hear... Probably not. The Invisible Man turned down a job offer the other day? No. He, he just couldn't see himself doing it. I forgot to bring my pen. What pen? Well, I have a pen for Fountain Pen Day. I bought a pen for Fountain Pen Day. Oh, that weird one? <laughs> <laughs> it did. It, well, it just sort of it just sort of happened to arrive. Jason. On Monday. <laughs> um, but Friday was Fountain Pen Day, and uh, we, we kinda, celebrated all weekend. We did. We kind of we kind of ran it through through Sunday. Uh, well, actually, through Monday morning when I I got <laughs> some up. Some things are still. Um, some things are still are still going on, but uh, um, I, it was a it was a fun. Actually, it was a fun day at the shop, and um, I think we wore out our new employee. Yeah, we uh, well, Amanda's doing a bang up job, so yep. uh, you know, and Dave's Dave's a trooper as always. So, uh, but a fountain pen day, we had some nice uh, nice sales on ink, um, and uh, some deals with Esterbrook, uh, uh, and in Sailor some, and, and Visconti, Visconti, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, it was it was a great day. We, we, had people coming in the store to get their free washi tape that we have, and we still have some, so you local folks can come in. We have free washi tape. I took one. Did you really? I did. I like washi tape. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I like washi tape. Did you get anything for Fountain Pen Day? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Um, Why? Do you have something for me? No, I don't have anything for you. Sorry. Um, did you just get a DuPont recently? Yeah, but that was an anniversary gift. Oh, is that what that was? Yes. Um, but I got a I got a, a, a dip pen from my my good friend Jason. Uh, well, he didn't give it to me. <laughs> we we negotiated on that one. But uh, a cool a cool dip pen with a Sterling holder, uh, which is a combo when it comes with out. A pencil and. Yep, it's really it's really super cool. So. It's way too complicated for me. It's, like you take this off, you flip it around, you pull this out, you put it in the other end. And there's an adapter. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's pre-Civil War era Barden Wilson. It's very cool. Uh, to go along with the rest of my interesting Bard family dip pens. So uh, that's what I, that's so what I got. So you expanded the family. I did. And I also bought... And I can't get another cat, but you expanded the family. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have my, my, mine doesn't use a litter box. So... Um, <laughs> And I also I also bought another a second pen on Fountain Pen Day. Um, I took advantage of <laughs> two two. Um, I took advantage of. I, I, I'm going to make a plug for our, our good friends Sam and Frank Fiorella uh, at Pendemonium. Two. Um, they have a really nice website with lots of cool vintage stuff. If you want. I don't eclectic, uh, ephemera. Um, Sam and Frank are the place to go for. They got vintage bottles. Like, they have not mainstream stuff. I don't yeah. know how to. It, like it's we, not, we have almost zero overlap. Yes. Which yes. is which is pretty cool. But they have really cool stuff. Um, Everything from typewriters, typewriters. to yeah to. Uh, Really cool vintage ads and all that. Yes, those Carter's um, cubes. I know Sam collects yep. those. Um, Carter's Inc. used to have these square bottles, and they were known for their labels. Um, the cat labels are my favorite. The squirrel. A, there's a squirrel. Yeah. A squirrel on a yeah. bottle. Yeah. I collected them for a while. Um, we would see they're good friends of ours, and we would see them at shows. And Sam would sometimes post like her new bottle, and she got me hooked on these things for a long time. So, so they're they're great like, people. Pendemonium.com, Pendemonium. just you know, go. Um, and and they normally normally actually go to almost every show, but because of the pandemic, of course, they can't. Yeah. So um, if there's anything you're looking for, check them out. Um, but I got a really cool. It's not here yet, but um, Aiken Lambert Gold Filled Snail Pattern Retractable Dip Pen. She got two dip pens. Say that ten times fast. No. Uh, number four size, I believe, but it has it has it's retractable. Of course, it's got the slider where the nib goes in, but then it also has a um, the 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 taper pulls out. So it, it really it's a little short thing, and then you can pull the taper out, and then push the slider, and then the nib goes out, and it's it's in that cool snail pattern. It's way too um, complicated for me. 
I love Aiken Lambert, so okay. Yeah, I got I got I bought two cool dip pens in like two days, so I think my I think you're done. I think I'm I'm pretty good for a little bit. And we have decided we're going to keep some of the sales going. going. Because there's a couple a couple of brands that we are kind of letting go, um, some Robert Oster, Queasy, um, Blackstone, um, and uh, those sales. You know, we had them at like fifty cent samples. They were very, very, very popular, popular. Uh, and we sold out of almost everything. But we have a few things left. Mm -hmm. We have some private reserve, and so we, we kind of left those prices as is. And uh, so, if you're still looking for some some inexpensive ink to, to, to play with, we still have it. So. I found this and fell in love, and uh, I don't know why we waited to bring it in. It's like the Puni Labo cases. Why do we wait? Um, Midori makes these adorable, damn adorable, um, letter writing sets. I just did. I do. I'm just they, a rebel. They are cute. They're um, super, super 12 cute. 12 sheets of lined paper, four envelopes, and four... Like puffy, puffy stickers, stickers to things. seal the envelopes. They have cute little animals on them. So Brian's got the deer. That deer. There's a little bird. There's a rabbit and a black cat. I like the, the, the penguin. It's pretty cool. There's an alpaca, which I keep calling a llama. Um, the capybara, the, the otter which is, is just may, funky. Yeah, the otter is maybe the most adorable. Yeah, I don't know. The panda is pretty the damn cute. cute. Well, They're it, all adorable. And then the cards got... The the paper has the little animal at the top. Um, it's just an adorable set. Pattern, and pattern envelopes. Yes. That don't necessarily match anything that's going no, on but with it's, the rest. No, but it's just but. cute. It's just adorable packaging. So if you're home and you are writing to people, these... Uh, they're you great. Need these. They're really and they're, they're they're super inexpensive. Yes. You know, less than uh, eight bucks. Um, they're just they're just so cute. Yeah. Um, I like there the are, cat. Let me see this cat. Here. There are two more on the is way. That, is that a bow tie? What is that there? Is that the cat's bow tie? Apparently so. On the envelope. Uh, a little black cat. There's a hedgehog on the way. Oh, there's a hedgehog. Now and that's that's cool. I don't know what this is, and I don't know how to properly pronounce it, but it's a quokka. Wow. Q U O K K A. No so idea. somebody chime in and tell me what that is. I didn't look it up beforehand. Um, They're all so cute those, though. Absolutely adorable. The little bird. If this was yellow, that would have been. Well, you could take a highlighter. These are all puffy, and these are just <laughs> Move adorable. Right along. along that same line, okay. meaning paper, we have some new. Uh, Oh, I'm checked out. After You're checked this, out it's after, hard you to can't be checked down. out. You've got Mariamon. You can talk about those because I'm going to talk oh, about this one. Oh, I know. All right. So, uh, Mariamon has come out with a couple other. Uh, we've added to the Mariamon line. So we have a B6 kind of a reporter style notebook that's lined. What is this? This is about a almost A6, uh, and it's got this funky funky lines. What would you call this? It's got a date on the top, and then it's got like this one's blank. I'm going with the easy one. <laughs> uh, this has got got some margin, some boxes in the margin. It's, it's great for a to do list. They call this. Uh, I should have looked it up. I don't recall. A to do list. Um, something like that. Yeah, these are new. Uh, great size. Yeah, it would be good. You can put your date on top. You've got you know your or boxes. Or checklist or whatever. Yeah. Um, About a yeah 80, a six size. Yeah. Yep, eighty sheets. Um, I just like these. Terrific, and then this is this is super cool. I know I've been using that that phrase super cool a lot. Um, they make an A7 notepad holder. It comes in a nice nice little box. You know, it's just so fun to see you it's, get excited about stuff like this. It's it's a little leather stitched holder with a cute little like A7 ish yep. notepad. It's got. A little flap in there. You could put a business card or something. And uh, on the side here, if you lift this up, they even have a little cutout here so this does sits flush. Peekaboo. You can put a little. Uh, there's a little pen loop there, and you, you can slide the. Uh, Probably the clip. Of slide something. the clip. We, we spent most of the afternoon one day trying to find a pen that would fit that, but it, I think. <laughs> That's how you spend your day. Sometimes, but what we do, <laughs> we decided if you just put the clip in there, it's yeah. just going to be fine. So. No, um, just absolutely adorable. It's the, and if we discovered it also fits 
I don't have a pen in my pocket today, but it oh. will fit in your breast pocket if you wanted to do that. Probably better in a coat pocket or something, yeah. but, but no, it, that's great. It, and it's got the, the N179 uh, graph in it. We um, did discover that a regular A7, like a Rhodia, is a hair too long. They're most most of them are a hair too long, and so it would cause the this top part to to sit up a little bit. Okay. Um, so we you, you kind of getting... have to use the, the 179. Yes, and we are getting more of the the 179 refills in. Um, but but what a nice what a nice little package this is. This is just so I like it. Um, Christmas. I, I don't know. I, I we got one kind of for me, and I haven't grabbed it yet. I'm just going to kind of see because we actually have people customers coming in now buying Christmas presents. Right. Believe it or not, we've had several in the past week. So I've got it out on the counter. I figure I can always get more. Um, but it's just it's cute. It's A7 notepad holder. Sorry. That's fine. I'm done. It's 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 cool. I love it. But we have now added left hand nibs to all of the Lamy Safaris. Safaris. All the, stars. The, all stars, the Vista, and Studio. So anything that takes the, the, the standard silver. silver, the steel uh, nib is now available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and left hand. Whether or not it Whether actually not it comes that way from the yeah. distributor, we will swap it for you. Um, and black is black is on its way. There's only a couple that actually take the black, and I'm not talking about the Lux, which has its own right. specific nib, but... Uh, pretty soon we'll have all of the standard Lamy pens are available in all those nib sizes. So yes. that's pretty cool. If you're left-handed and you want to try out a left-handed nib, um, you can get it right in the pen. There's no extra charge. Correct. Um, so it's the same price as it would be just if you bought your standard fine or medium. Right. Just but to give you additional options. Ground a little bit better for a left-hander. Yes. The Edison Collier in Rock Candy is back. After a short hiatus. It was available and then they were having what issues with the rod stock? Getting yeah, it yeah, from the issues distributor. Issues getting the rod stock from the distributor, I guess. And now it's back. And so that's when the pearlized juniper came in. Um, and now it's back, which means the pearlized juniper is kind of on a short short lease. It's on its way out. Uh, it's a great color, that pearlized juniper. I didn't bring one here, but um, it's a great color and I have no idea when it's going to go, but it's likely probably sometime in the next month it'll be it'll be all sold out. Yep. Um, but the rock candy's back. Very uh, pretty. It's it a is. it's a really nice red, blue, green, white. Um, it's a nice. I, it's I like pretty. it. It's, it's nice. And colorful. Gold trim. Uh, of course, it's the number six size uh, Yovo nib, and it's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, one point one and one point five stubs. And you know, all the Edisons, when you look at the material, you turn it, you see it in the light, and, and it's always had, you know, depth, and, and you can see. Um, yeah, this, this, this one was a, a better, better seller than I thought it would be. And it's, it's just really, it's a, you know, sometimes you mix a lot of colors together and it doesn't, it doesn't work. This, this, this works. And uh, it's, of course, it's not meant to be posted, nope. um, but it fits Only good in the hand. Uh, it fits good in the hand. And uh, cartridge convert. It's it's a nice nice looking pen. Of course, now the nibs are most of the nibs are coming out in that single tone gold, which I actually do like. Uh, it works really well on this pen. So. Yes. So we wanted to take a second to reply to a couple uh, questions and comments that we've had uh, on social media, and uh, just picked a couple. Uh, what do we got? Hit me. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Right, these didn't you, print. You, so. you missed a you missed a golden opportunity there. I well, think. I'm, I'm tethered. Uh, so Audrey wrote in and said, "Love the idea of using my fountain pen ink in the retros refill that you had talked about." Yeah. So yes, please do a video showing ways to do this. Great video as always. Many thanks. All right, Audrey. You, you know, I I've been I've been using this pen that I, I filled with with Monteverdi green ink in it, and I, I I was a little hesitant because you know. Ink dries, right? And if I had a fountain pen and yeah. I left it out, it would it would dry. It would be a complete mess. And I've just been shocked every day I go into work and it's like a you know like I write with it and like it's it works. I just I can't believe it. It just it's mind blowing. So yeah, we'll we'll do a video. Um, it was a lot easier than I expected. And which it, gives hope to all of you out yeah, here. Yeah, it's and you know me. you need like two tools and that's about it. So 
Um, super easy to do. It doesn't take very long. And I'm, I'm very pleased with the results, actually. Okay. Was it really messy? You know, it, it wasn't. I don't know that I got any ink on my hands at all. So um, I did a little, you know, I, I did a little different. I had my own method and uh, it wasn't really messy at all. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll definitely do that. And based on what you did the first time, would you do anything differently? I would, yeah, yeah. We, we did a couple things, you know, we kind of just, we kind of jumped through, quickly jumped through some steps. We didn't actually let the, the, uh, the sponge dry out uh, fully right away. I just... I cleaned it and then I went right to putting ink in it. But uh, I think if it were dry, it would it be... It would absorb more. Yeah, because it was coming out a little bit... Uh, when it was wet, it was coming out a little bit light to begin with. And then now we've kind of written through some of that. And, okay, uh, awesome. No, definitely. It's, it's a super cool idea, so... And imagine you just take an old one and you can put any color you want in Yama there. Dory. Yeah. Whoa. That would be cool. That would be neat. All right. All right. Um... Plexi Bertrand says, oh, lovely Retro 51 Palmer, did Anderson Pens ever consider making a Houdini pen being so close to the museum in Appleton? So, yes. We the had Palmer... the idea, but it vanished. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank I'm you for sorry. your kind words about the Palmer. <laughs> love it. I love the Palmer. Well, we, um, talk, we talked about it. We Houdini. did talk about the, uh, about the <clears throat> Houdini Museum. Um, Houdini, uh, one of the things Appleton touts is that Houdini is from here, lived here, whatever. He, yeah, he was a resident for quite a while. He was. His, so. He was. His family lived here for several years. Um, and the museum, there is a Houdini, they call it the History Museum, but everybody local calls it the Houdini Museum, yeah. um, is just a couple blocks, two blocks down the yeah, street Yeah, so if you, come to, if you come to visit the store, make sure that you, you leave some time for that um, and check it out. My uh, father came to visit one year and we went there. And they have some of um, Harry Houdini's, uh, what do you call them? Magic tricks. tricks his, magic. his equipment. You can actually climb into like the trunk or, I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds in. like a great idea. Yeah, just climb in. It's safe. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll get out. <laughs> um, so it is really cool. Um, but... We opted not to do a Houdini uh, pen for a couple reasons. Uh, we honestly we weren't sure how well it would sell, and the commitment you have to you know you have to buy X many to get a better price. Um, honestly, we just weren't sure how it would sell, and this was years ago. Yeah, you know, in, in now, hindsight, it would probably be it would probably go over really well. So um, it's too late to do that. But yeah. um, you know, and the other thing was we talked about having part of it be like glow in the dark. Um, but don't, don't give out too many ideas. But well, it's too late. George won't do it now. Um, <laughs> but to me, that almost seemed like those you know those floaty pens where you turn it upside down and. The hula hoop? No, wait, yeah. that's a different kind of floaty pen. No, it's the same kind of thing. So, like, you know, in glow in the dark, things appear or disappear or whatever, and it, it just seemed a little so, kitschy. So the long answer is, is we have thought about it, but... Opted not to. It didn't make the cut. That's what so. you're saying. I just, I'm long-winded? What's the next question? <laughs> um... PM says you should. This is for you. You should do a video on tiny notebooks. Oh, I love tiny notebooks. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, you know, I use them. Give me that one. That one's cool. I like the. I, I just. I like little pocket notebooks. I've got, you know, I've got this this beat up Rhodia in my which pocket, is, which is not tiny. It's not. Well, it's a seven ish. It's you know nine by fourteen centimeters. This is um, a seven that is way bigger. Well okay so this is a That's three and a half by five and a half. Maybe it's like a B seven. I don't know. Anyway, but it's not tiny. I like I like pocket notebooks. It fits in that pocket notebook category. The N one eighty five by Nemesine. Um, you love the little petite journal. The petite journals are the greatest. Those things you can beat those things up and you never you never notice the difference. I'm getting excited over pocket notebooks, aren't I? Remember the time I ordered Mistakenly, the uh, the tiny little loik term. I thought they were the you 86. Didn't, you didn't mistakenly order them. I ordered them for you. And we, I got the pocket, and I was annoyed. Okay, pissed off. But then I got these. Like, this is not They're what great. I wanted. They're great. And they sold the fastest. Yeah. 
I sold most of them within like the first week in Chicago after who, receiving them. Who doesn't want something? I love, and, I, and the thing I love about most of the pocket journals is they're all perforated pages. And so, and I write a lot of lists, quick things, write down, and you rip the page out and it goes away. And your notebook is nice and clean and... Um, these guys are great. I love these. All right. So a video on tiny notebooks. A video tiny on notebooks. tiny notebooks. Yeah, we should do one. It'll, it should be forthcoming. Okay. Cause, but you know what's going to happen. I'm going to bring them all out. I'm going to want to keep one of each, and then I'm going to forget one that we have. So. Yes. But, so uh, you'll have to plan. I'll plan. Why don't you put that in your hobo? I, I'll, I'll put it in my... Hang on. Uh, I forgot a pen. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'll write it down in my notebook here. All right. And then finally, Bieber Ninja says, "When is Bieber Re Ninja? I know, it's cute. Uh, when is Retro Fifty One going to come out with an oversized pen?" Uh, thanks, Bieber. Um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what if that has nothing to do with with Justin Bieber? Well, it's cute. Anyway. It's cute. All right. Uh, number one, Retro Fifty One is retiring. Uh, number two, they did have their big shot, which was... Uh, he said fountain pen, though. He said pen. Oversized pen. Oh, okay. Um, as far pen. as fountain pens are concerned, Retro had basically just one, one size. size. It was fairly, fairly large. It was. Not in girth, but long. It was very long. Yes. Uh, but as far as their uh, rollerballs and ballpoints, uh, they did have the big shot, which was a bigger, fatter pen. Um, but that was it. Their um, focus was basically just the design of the outside, mm -hmm. not necessarily all these different models. So, okay. So, um, and so now that they're retiring, uh, we don't know if anyone's carrying on or not. So, probably, probably not gonna not gonna see any uh, fat retros any to any year soon. No. So there you go. Sorry. I think that's it. Uh, keep commenting and sending in questions, and uh, we'll find some others to ask to uh, answer soon. We wanted to touch base on a, on a couple of things that are, are going away. I'm a little sad. Um, These are kind of cool. You know, These we are don't, different. We, we don't talk much about Faber Castell. Not much. Their lineup is pretty stagnant. Um, you know, they've got the same colors that they've had for you know many years. That they're, but this one we always kind of like. The Essentio used to be the basic. In leather. I love the faux stitching up the back. Stitching up the back it's is just cute. So cool. um, these are discontinued. There are no more at the distributor. I tried to order some last week. Um, and right now we have it available in fountain pen, um, with steel nib, and ballpoint. So okay. roller ball is sold out. Um, but uh, and the nice thing about it is it's not expensive. No, and I love really the reasonable. texture on these. It's not slippery. Yeah, the grip section is is you know nice. Did I mention almost I like the stitching? Do you, do you do you need that one? No, no? I have other. Um, it, it is cool though. Yeah, I, I do like it. Um, we sold a lot of these at shows. People would they put them in their hand and then that would be it. So these are discontinued. We have uh, limited quantities left. Um, I couldn't tell you offhand what nibs we have, but pretty much uh, if if there's a nib you're looking for on Faber Castell uh, and Website says we don't have it. Just call us, shoot us an email, we'll and we'll, see if we'll, we can switch it. We'll, we'll make it happen for you. But cool, it's got this kind of matte. Yeah. Grip, almost like grippy. That was a nice grippy cap. Faber Castell Essentio uh, in leather is discontinued and is going away. The Retro Chicago uh, with the Palmer coming out a couple weeks ago. A lot of people are buying the Chicago. We are down to a, a small, much smaller number than we had. Um, Nice, nice. I, I like this pen. This is one, maybe one of my favorites. Do we want to tell the story of how it's actually glow in the dark and we didn't know that? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we didn't ask for the pen to be glow in the dark. We didn't know that the designer had thrown that in there. And we were having uh, an event at our Chicago store and our sales rep said, so what do you think of the glow in the dark in the windows? We're like, what? Yeah, what no idea. Uh, so apparently the windows glow in the dark. Yeah, so you know immediately we're doing this, <laughs> you know, um, cup in our hands and putting it in there. But uh, I like it. Um, I love it. I you know the AP is on there like it is yeah. on on every every one of our retros that we've had. Um, so a shout out to Retro Fifty One for as 
always the amazing work they do. And it's the right blue and the right yes. red that is in the Chicago flag. And of course, you've got the four Chicago stars on the top. It's great. Um, Love it. Great city. Uh, we'll be back at some point. But uh, until then, we have the retro Chicago pen. Uh, for this year, Y Studio has come up with a new box set um, in forest green, and it's their slim. So it's a limited edition. I think there are 400 pieces. Uh, the slim ballpoint, which has got the nice copper on the top mm -hmm. there, uh, and this is the brassing model. And then it comes with a special this ooh, uh, notepad set. <laughs> <laughs> that has actually. I won't drop it. I promise. And you can set this up on your desk. Yes. There's actually another pin that goes through there, oh, through okay. the back on the bottom, and then it stands up. Oh, cool. Um, but then there are three different types of uh, uh, cards in there. What does um, this say? So here's the. While she's playing with that, here's the, the wood base, and then All this right. little brass knob comes out to hold the paper in. Uh, I want. I desire. I think. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, good size. This is just, this is a beautiful set. Absolutely. And the nice thing about Y Studio is the weight. Um, oh, yeah. Most of the pens, of it's course, are thin. the brass, uh, brass barrel, brass body. The whole thing is brass. Yeah. Uh, except for some of the fountain pens, but they but have a great weight. It's, it's definitely thin, but it's got some weight to it. This does not feel uh, like it's going to fly out of your hand. Yeah. So, uh, Y Studio, they call it the My Resolute. Uh, limited edition de uh, gift sets, and we do have them in stock and uh, ready for Christmas. This is the least exciting thing probably ever on the podcast, uh, which is kind of why I put it down at the bottom of the list. I think we should have led with this. Justin, can you splice I, I it was, so this is first? I was thinking about that, and then we just kind of gloss over it. But it, it, it is kind of exciting in the sense that, I, you know, I don't know where you get this. Um, so we now offer... Well, we obviously do. We, <laughs> We, we've had requests for this in the past. Now, we, we carry a lot of repair supplies. Yes. Um, and we're constantly trying to expand that so that you know, where it makes sense. I mean, there are some there are some parts that we can get, but they're just ridiculously expensive. And the cost doesn't, you know, based on how many you have to order, it doesn't really make sense. But um, we've carried Parker 51 uh, stainless breather tubes for a while. So if you've got a 51 aerometric that uses the stainless breather tube, you're good to go. Um, other pens, uh, Vacumatics, um, other 51s that use uh, that don't use the stainless breather tube, we don't really have that. But now we do. We have uh, a Teflon uh, coated breather tube for your Parker Vacumatics, your later 51s, your um, <laughs> your, uh, your Wall Ever Sharp Skylines. Um, so we're selling these, and you know they're so it's just like a it's a tube, it's a breather tube. Okay. It's three inches long, okay. and you'll you'll cut the fit. It's 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 way too long. Uh, in most most cases, it's going to be way too long, more than you need. Um, so you'll cut it to fit. Uh, you may have to taper the ends. There are some different uh, feeds have different size holes. So some of them are going to be this might be too tight, um, or if it's if the hole is too big, then you can you can build it up with a little bit of shellac and then basically shellac it in place. But for those of you <clears> brave <throat> enough to do your own repair. We've had we've actually, we've actually had uh, quite a few in the last month. We've had a couple people call asking for that. So okay. we do have them now. Uh, you know, this is you know super cheap uh, and and definitely something you need to have a couple it's, of. It's a dollar, right? It's a buck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you need to have a couple of them in your in your toolkit just in case because you never know. Some of those some of those breather tubes um, really hardened plastic or ebonite and they break just looking at them or you pull the pen out and and it just. And it crumbles. crinkles, yeah. And uh, and on pens that use breather tubes, uh, especially vacuumatics, you can only fill as, as long as the breather tube is. So, if the if the breather tube's it, you know, too short, too short, that's all the ink you're going to get. If it's a half an inch, you're not going to get any more ink. Any in there. of the ink that's at the bottom, and so yeah. you'll constantly be running out. So, so you may okay. need you may need this. We have them. So when you're doing your sack order and and you're you're buying your diaphragms and stuff, now we have around. we have the the breather tube. So great. Twisby. Let's talk Twisby. These are so pretty. So last week we talked about the back 700R Iris. Which is a limited run. Um, we thought it was a, in the industry, it's called a one and done. You get one order and then 
it's done. Uh, there are actually more coming. Much to my surprise, when I、uh, spoke with Philip、uh, yesterday, there are more coming toward the end of the week. Okay. So I'm hoping next week we will be able to uh, uh, procure some. Okay. And、uh, so those of you who have your your back in stock notifications in. Uh, we'll have more, but I was I was we, we sold out re- relatively quickly. I was very pleased.、Um, the nib is great. I love the nib. That's my、yes. favorite part of that pen. Colored at the end. Just at the end. Yeah, it's just very it, cool. It makes it so、what? much different than every other. What a great touch. Rain, rainbowy pen, and、yeah. and every one is different.、Um, and of course, you get the the capacity of the Vac Seven Hundred R. It's it's great. Yes.、Um, the long-awaited Verit Atlantide Color of the Year. From uh, Herben, uh, this is the Jacques Herben.、Uh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous green, and it has both gold and silver. Now, is this is this a Jacques Herben? Is it a G Herben? Is it an Herben? What's the、it's、Jacques? Okay, so what's the? There's like a new naming convention. Yes, regular Herben, Herben, whatever you want to call it. Is for the regular colors and so then, the little little demi tasse bottles、yes. are called Urban. And then the、uh, the anniversary colors, the shimmer, the sixteen seventy, the seventeen, are the、yeah. Jacques. Okay, okay. so、yes. the the fancier stuff and the bigger bottle has a fancier name. Has a fancier name. There you、okay. go.、Um, so we will、uh, we have this up on the site, and then、uh, we just <laughs> ironically our sw- our samples and our ink all came at one time. So we'll have the swab up.、Um, Let me see this in another so day gold or so. And silver,、huh? Yeah. Looks like a nice green. To、huh? celebrate their three hundred and fiftieth anniversary. Wow! I know. Golden and silver sheen. Yes. You know, it has a nice box. You know, the、oh, bottles yeah, are the great. Bottle I love、beautiful. those bottles. Yep. We will be getting a restock of our Graffilo.、Um, How did Chris put this? How did he put the paper? I don't know. It's oh, it's magic. Okay. So anyway, we're、Sorry. getting our Graffilo order. Um, either the end of this week or early next week,、um, I'll have to check tracking. But、uh, finally, apparently our distributor no longer stop, stocks stop it. Stop carrying it. Then... So we had to place a、um, we placed a fairly hefty special order, and、um, because shipping between COVID and shipping, it's coming over by ship, not by plane, and so it is. It finally arrived. It's been a and, long time since、yes. we ordered it. Even well, we ordered it in the spring, early summer. It was part of a summer、That's、promo. A s- where... Slow boat. <laughs> slow boat from Japan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely.、Um, witchcraft. That's what Chris called it. Witchcraft. He did he? It's like witchcraft. Okay. Right? I think.、So. Anyway, our Graffilo notebooks are on the way. They should be here end of this week or very early next week. They're the really really fountain pen friendly. Nice thin. If you like a thin notebook.、Um, I am excited for them to to come in. So, what do you got there? Blank. Blank. Yep. And they're、lined. A five size. A five、yep. blank lined and graph. It's it's right up there with Tomoe. It's 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 similar but completely different. Yes. You know, it's not thin like Tomoe, but boy, does it handle fountain pen ink like nothing else. Yep. So we've been working on expanding、uh, some of our、uh, Japanese paper offerings, and、uh, excited to have this back in stock. What are you doing? Nothing. Mm-hmm. It's nice, isn't it? It fits right in there. I feel like a reporter or a detective. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> Mrs. Anderson, where were you the night of November eleventh, two thousand and twenty? When you murdered your husband. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> we're done. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news,、uh, ink reviews,、uh, events in the store. And、uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens.、Um, like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.